Hi guys, Ivan here. Using SCAPE you one can forge any packet. Could be an Ethernet, an IP, TCP, UDP and many others. In this exercise I want to explain the DNS update attack. So let's assume we have a, a network with a client with a DHCP server and a DNS server. The DHCP server is listening on this 200.222 IP address. If the client is connecting to the network, the client is sending a DHCP request and he, the client is also announcing his local host name, in this case Hacker10. The, the DHCP server will respond with a DHCP response and announcing a free lease, a free IP address. Furthermore, made this client uh, host name will, would be nice to have it in the DNS server and therefore the IP address of the DHCP server or the DHCP server is sending a DNS deletion package to the DNS server, so making sure a, an existing host name is, gets deleted. And after the DNS deletion, a new, the new entry will be sent to the DNS server. In this case, 277. There is a trust relation between the DHCP server and the DNS server. Only the IP address 200.222, the DHCP server, should be allowed to send packages, DNS deletion and DNS update packages to the DNS server. Now, uh, the DHCP packages to the DNS server, or the, excuse me, the DNS packages to the DNS server should be digitally signed so that the DNS server can make sure that an authorized DHCP server is uh, sending such deletion and the update packages. But in this scenario, the trust is only relying on the source IP address. So the source IP address of the DHCP server 222 is allowed to send such DNS deletions and DNS updates. Using uh, SCAPI, one can now fake the source IP address 222 and sending such fake DNS deletions. So first what an attacker would like to do is to send a fake DNS deletion uh, for hacker10.evil.zz with the source IP address 222. So, so forging the source IP address of the DHCP server. And furthermore, uh, to spoof the DNS uh, hostname of the client or a server, the, the attacker would then forge a second DNS, DNS packly adding or updating the DNS entry. If the DNS server is only um, adding or deleting based on the source IP address, this setup is prone to such a spoofing attack. And this is what this exercise is about. So give it a try and enjoy.